Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting a new cup. We are going to do a fabric wrap on this 30 ounce skinny straight. So I have measured around. Um, I cut one of my little, these just cheap promotional tape measures down just to make life easier. Um, so I measured around and it's 10 around. And where I want my fabric, it's about nine and a quarter high, so I cut my fabric to that size. This is just one of those little pieces from Crafter Square. One of those random ones I stumbled upon. And I am going to do heat transfer vinyl for my decal. So I have that cut and weeded, an offset and the top coat. And then I've got my Mod Podge ready to coat the cup itself. So I'm going to iron this while this is heating up. It'll be fine. I also have a piece of a Teflon sheet because I'm going to layer my vinyl. So, and this only take a couple seconds to heat up. This is that machine that HTV Route had sent me. So, then my fabric is nice and smooth. While it finishes heating up, I'm going to kind of try and line it up somewhat towards the center. It doesn't have to be dead center, but I'd like it somewhat centered. And I'm up to temp already. And this vinyl is a cold peel, so I will let it cool, then peel in between my top coat or offset and my other so I'm gonna go ahead and press with the tough one so I'm gonna give it pretty good pressure and just hold it down until the countdown ticks down Okay, so like I said, this brand is a cold peel, so I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit, and hopefully it'll be applied neatly. I'm just going to kind of wave it to try and cool it down a little quicker. Okay, so this is cool, so hopefully it'll peel cleanly. Very nice. Mm. Then I get this lined up while my press comes back up to temperature again. Oh, I got ink on my finger. Trying to get this little piece of fabric off of here. <clears throat> I paused a second to get that ink off of me. So, that's ready. Here we go again. The timer doesn't start on this one until you hit the R button. And I just slid this, so hopefully it didn't slide my piece underneath. Seems to be okay. Who knows what the quote's from? Take the sourest lemon life has to offer and turn it into something resembling lemonade. My A's are filled in, not because I didn't weed them, but because I could not weed this font in its own form. So I had to make like a tiny, tiny baby offset to even get the letters to um, weed. So that's what happened there. So that is peeled. I'm going to give it one more press with no backers just for a little added security.
Okay, power this down. There. So I'm going to move my press and my towel out of the way and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my Mod Podge. I'm just going to use the gloss and this is going to take many layers so I'm just going to show you one. I'm just going to put some in a separate cup just because I don't have this one open all the way. So, soft brush, thin coat all the way around. So, I'm going to place my fabric. somewhat evenly, hopefully. So now I am going to coat over the whole thing. Just kind of making sure there's no big wrinkles or any air pockets or anything first. trim off these little strings that have made their way back in. <clears throat> okay. Now I am just going to coat right over every bit of it. Okay, so I'm going to put my cup over on the drying rack. Once this coat is dry, I'm going to add more coats until I'm up to at least four. And then I will come back and we will probably be ready for epoxy at that point. So, I'll be back. Okay, so this has several coats of Mod Podge on it. So I'm ready to get the resin on. I have my epoxy mixed up and I'm going to add a little bit of my Mistress Cheat glitter to it. I had thought about pinstriping the top and the bottom because it's a little bit off, but I'm still on the fence about it, so I'm going to decide at a later time. Um, this is kind of a full spectrum cheat glitter, but I think it'll be okay. So, that's what I decided to go with. And I'm using the a little extra for this coat of resin. So there we go. Uh, for all intents and purposes, this is done. Um, unless I do decide to. add a pinstripe but like I said I'm really really on the fence I don't think I want to so and I am so glad I stumbled on this fabric quote coming around
So that is it for this one. Uh, this one will probably end up in a sale when I do a sale. So, which may be before or after you see this. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing these days. But that is it for this one, Fabric Tumblr. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.